Hey, Mike Stish here again, showing off a little robot body that I built. Uh, one of the things that I really like about this is I built the chassis out of parts that are available locally. So you can see that there's a frame built out of aluminum angle bracket, and I just use a uh, tap to thread the aluminum, and then these are 6x32 screws. Um, that are used to put it all together. I do use a few smaller, um, I think these are 440 screws to um, put the boards on. You can see I just have a raised platform here for the electronics. This is a dual H bridge and, and everything that's on here except for um, these white connectors. Um, I believe I bought at Radio Shack. I've got some proto board here. This is a um, 5 volt regulator and all this does is feed the Arduino that's going to drive this robot. Um, the microcontroller is not really important, that's why you can see I've just got it uh, rubber banded on here with a um, little post-it note pad for an insulator. Um, I'm really more interested in the platform itself. I've got a TI launch pad, the MSP430 chips that I might run this with later on, I'm not quite sure. I'd like to add some sensors to the front here and uh, make a line follower. I guess we'll see how that goes, but I'll give you a little demonstration. I do have a honking on-off switch, just something I had in the junk box, and um, it'll take just a second to um, load the program in the bootloader, and uh, it'll go, it should go forward, backward, and then do some twirlies. Here we go. Hmm. We have some uh, low battery issues. Let's see if I have a loose connection somewhere. Try that one more time. All right, here we are again. Mike's dish here. I had a little problem with that uh, first test run, and what I've done now is I actually added a second battery. Um, I was feeding this battery through the dual H bridge and uh, taking it out the other side and putting it into this voltage regulator which was feeding the Arduino. Um, I think the motors caused the power from the battery to dip enough to reset the microcontroller. Um, I need to do some more research into this but for now I'm using a separate battery to run the, the regulator for the Arduino. Um, they do have common ground because I need that ground reference to, to uh, activate the H bridges. But let's uh, do a little demonstration now. Turn it on and, and watch her run. Uh, all I've done is programmed it to go forward, backward, and do a couple spins, but it seems to be doing what I expected. And uh, you know, hopefully, next time I'll have something a little more interesting to show. Thanks for watching, and uh, you can read more about this at jumptuck.com.